In this video, we are going to be looking at the ASP.NET uh, website administrative tool. Um, this tool will allow you to manage the web configuration file, which is called the web.config file. You must have seen that in your web application. Um, it allows you to manage the web.config file by a simple interface. You can use this tool to create and manage user roles. You can use it to create new users or manage users. You can set the security and authentication of the web application all through a simple point and click interface. We are going to create a folder where we want to place our private pages. So what we'll do is uh, we're going to have a private page on our website only for authenticated user and uh, we want to place all those pages in a special folder. Uh, these private pages will be protected by a website configuration file. We are also going to create a new login page and a registration page so that if a user uh, if a, if a user is not authenticated, they will be directed, they will be redirected uh, to the login page and if they're not registered, they can use the register link to go to the registration page. Uh, if, you, if you attempt to access a page that requires authentication and you are not currently authenticated, you automatically be direct, directed to the login page. So uh, don't worry about every all this text here. Just uh, <laughs> once you watch the video, you can listen to them again. They will make sense. So let's go to the master page that we've been creating in the previous videos. So uh, this is what we have. So what we want to do now is I want to show you the ASP.NET uh, ad, uh, administrative tool. So if you click on because what the ASP.NET uh, configuration administrative tool, what it does is it allows you to modify the website the web.config file. So if you open the website configuration file, which is the web.config file in the, you can see all these uh, jargons, you know, all these codes that has been written inside your ASP.NET. Um, this is used to, is this are the configuration for your website. So, um, what we want to do is, if you do not want to modify this by hand, you can go to uh, the toolbar on website and click on ASP.NET configuration and it's going to bring out a very simple uh, web-based tool that you can use. So the first thing you have to do is click on the security link here or go to the tab security. You need to change the uh, settings there and the, you, you need to select authentication type because it said the current authentication type is Windows. So let's change that to something else. Now, so because if you look at here, it's actually authentication uh, authenticating from a local network. Select this option if users will access your website only from a private local network. So the site will use the built-in Microsoft Windows authentication to identify users. That's not what we want. The other option says, select this option if user will access your website from the public internet. User will be required to log on using a web form. So this is what we want. We want user to be able to log in using the web form. So we select the internet and click on done. And once we do that, as you see, we now presented with uh, users, so we'll be able to create users or manage users. So let's go ahead and create one simple user for our website. Uh, remember, this is not the way we'll be creating users on our website. We're also going to have this exact same form on our website as well. So let's just create one user. Let's say and password. Yeah, I need to point your attention to something. So I'm just going to type password P A W S. P A W S W O R D, P A W S W O R D. So that's the password. It's not going to allow you to create this kind of, uh, and I'll tell you why in a minute. So they just say add me at uh, website.com. Uh, secret question, favorite color, answer, let's say blue. We want to make sure the user is active. If we create user, we're going to get an error. And the reason why we'll get an error is because our password, so I just want to show you this. It said the password length minimum, it must be seven characters and non alpha numeric character required is one. So you must have a non alpha numeric characters. That means you must have 
something like a sign, like a at sign, or something that is not uh, a number or letter. So, so let's choose. I'm going to say password. Then I'm going to put the the pound sign at the back of it. Is that seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's it. So also I'm going to do the same thing, pass word. And I'll put a dollar sign behind it. So let's create user. As you can see, now it allows me to create a user. So so now we have a user in our website with admin username and uh, the password is password with a dollar sign at the back of it. So if we go back home, now we should be able to see that we have one user on our website. Okay, this is the one that we're going to be using to log in for now. Okay, so let's close that. So what I want to point your attention is said the web dot configuration file has been modified outside the editor. So you're asking if you want to reload it. I want you to point your attention to something. It's not going to allow me to select this, but if I ask you to uh, reload it, you will see that it's going to add the authentication to. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is what you just added. Authentication mode now it's become form. Initially, it wasn't there, so because I couldn't show you. So you can also without going behind the um, ASP.NET web dot uh, ASP.NET administrative tool, you can also add this manually, you know, by hand into this place, and it's going to change the authentication mode to be form. Okay, so. Uh, now that we've done that, I also want to point your attention that I've created a folder called staff only. And the, the way to add a folder to your website, I mean, I haven't done anything special. All I did is just to right click on the and just say new folder. And I give the folder a name. And after I've added a folder, then I also had a private page, so which I'm going to show you now. So this is the private page as I inherited from my master page and all I said is I just typed these words in there. This is a private page only authenticated user can view this page. And also I have added a web.config file. So let me show you the way to add a web.config file. Remember to add uh, this private page to the folder you do not right click on the main project to add new item because if you do it's going to be added to the root of your web application. If you want to add a page to a folder, you right click on the folder itself and you say add new item, then you choose a web form, then you give it a name which I've called private.aspx. Then also to add a web, remember we have a web.config file here at the bottom, which is the main for the whole website. This is the settings for the entire application. But if we want to add another web.config file to the folder, we have to say we have to right click on the folder and say add new item then we choose a web configuration file so when I did that let me actually add this one it's going to name it to be web2.config because I already have one so let me add that to show you what it looks like so this is what it looks like by default and this is the one I actually had this is the one I add see so the only thing I've added is this uh, code here which I want you to go ahead and add now which is authorization so I want to authorize people to view my website but the only people I want to authorize is everybody else except the users that we do not know so this question mark that said I said authorization and I said deny the users everybody that is anonymous this question mark means people that are anonymous and anonymous means that we do not uh, they have not authenticated on the website so they are just user who has come to the website without authenticating themselves so anyone that is not authenticated will not be able to view this private or any pages under this folder you, see, you might be thinking why can't we just put this um, uh, this uh, code inside the system.web we can but when we do that that means we will not allow anyone to view our page except the authenticated user. So if I copy that and I show it to you, so if we go under the system.web for the main, so let's go to this main 
webton config file for all our application if we go under the system the web so this is under the system the web if we paste this now what will happen is so I can I can paste this inside it so what will happen if I try to view a page so let's try let me save it and try and view a page so let's say view in browser as you see when I ask to view that in browser it actually redirect me to a login page so if you don't understand what happened there I try to access this sub page 3.exp.x so and if you if I try to access the student website and say view in browser normally supposed to take me to the browser but if you check the uh, URL ad in the URL uh, bar here you can see that it's actually uh, redirect me to the login page so this is the login page so it's, re it's requiring me to log in before I can view the page so uh, but because that's not the uh, the behavior that I want because I want every, I want all the websites to be accessible except those ones that I called the uh, private pages so that is why it's a good idea to uh, only protect if you had uh, all the pages that you want to be private inside a special folder then you can add a web.config file into the folder and protect the users like that so let me uh, remove this authorization for all our pages because I want all our pages to be uh, accessible except the private pages which are protected so now also I'm going to delete the web2.config just to show you an example of what it looks like so I do not need it so make sure that uh, you've set the web.config file under the system.web uh, you have to write this you have to deny every uh, every anonymous user to access the content except the authenticated user so now that we have that I've always gone ahead as well I've actually created a login page which is very simple all I had to do was went went to the root folder and I said add new item and I created a login page and what I've also done is I created um, a register page so this is another page which user will be able to register if they're not currently registered on our website so in this video you've learned how to use the ASP.NET configuration tool to authenticate user using a web form rather than using a local network then we um, added a private folder we have a special folder which we're going to put well, well it's just a normal folder which we put all the pages I want to be private and we protect all the pages that want to be private with a web.config file so go ahead and do this then I'll see you in the next video when we're going to start to learn how to use this um, login controls thank you